I'm taking you to work with me. We are doing a work day in my life at my full-time nine to five job working in marketing in New York City. Today is an exciting one because I'm actually taking you into the office with me. Even though I've been working from home, we're going into the office. My company is doing some construction on our actual office, but they rented a WeWork space and we do have the option to come in if we want to. We're not obligated to go in, but I thought it would be fun to show you guys what it's like. Okay, so we're starting this video off at 6.30 a.m. Since I'm going to be in person, I need to make sure that I look like a real human, unlike when I work from home. And I find it so hard to get out of bed when it's still dark outside, so I usually sit on my phone for a second or two just to wake my brain up. So when I wake up, the first thing I do is walk straight to the bathroom. I took a shower so I could A, get presentable, and B, wake myself up. For my morning skincare routine, it's pretty simple. I used the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser in the shower. Then I put on the Glossier Super Glow Serum, which is a vitamin C serum. And then I'm using the Boom Boom Milk from Violette FR, which is a toner, serum, and moisturizer all in one. So it's great for busy mornings and people on the go. And then lastly, the most important step is sunscreen. I typically use the one from Elta MD, which is my favorite, but it's all out. So I use this one from Super Goop. It's the unseen sunscreen. Then of course I had to brush my teeth and I finished with the Glossier Balm.com on my lips just to keep them hydrated in these cold winter months. Then to prep my hair for styling later, I put this serum in my hair from DV. It's a serum made by Danny Austin who also has super fine hair like mine and it's meant to promote scalp health. And then a heat protectant, of course, is an absolute necessity for styling hair later. Now for the fun part, picking out an outfit for the day. It was very cold today, only 40 something degrees. So I was looking for something that was warm, but cute, but also office-y. You know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers First, I tried on these pants and this sweater. It was cute, but it wasn't quite working for me. And sorry, I did not realize that these clips were blurry. So I changed the sweater to this one from Cezanne and I liked it, but also it wasn't quite right. Then I felt like the pants wouldn't be comfortable to be sitting all day at a desk. So I switched to a skirt which was so much better. I really feel my best in a skirt. And then overall the outfit was too dark, so I put this little beige cardigan on, which felt like it was the perfect mix between cozy and office. And I paired it with some tights, of course, to actually stay warm and skin colored ones as to not ruin the outfit. And then I put on knee high boots to complete the look. Back to hair now. I pulled out my Dyson Air Wrap. I really do love this tool. It's by far the best blow dryer that I've ever used. It's just kind of big and bulky, but I've gotten the hang of it. I dried my hair with the blow dryer attachment until it was about 80% dry. Then I switched to the round brushed head and just focused that on my roots to give my hair more volume while also smoothing my frizz. 
And then here I decided to wear my hair half up, half down because to me, it's like I'm wearing my hair down but at the same time, it's not in my face so it's a win-win. But then I decided it needed some more texture so I curled it using the wand attachments. We come alive in the night time something about how it is Now onto makeup. I just got this Dior face and body foundation yesterday, so this was my first time trying it. I thought the texture was good. It was so similar to the Skin Tint from Glossier, but with a bit more coverage and it had a really nice kind of natural glowy finish. Then I decided to use my Wander Beauty Mascara. I don't always use this, but today I was feeling like it. Then I went over my spots with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And for bronzer, I used the Guerlain Terracotta Light Bronzer, which made me feel like I had at least a little healthy glow. And for highlighter, I used my Chanel one. It's balmy and really beautiful on the skin. I love it. And then I decided to go with a cream blush. This one is from Fenty Beauty and I really love the pink color. And I topped it off with the Rosy Glow, which is a um, very similar shade of pink, just to make sure that it stayed all day. Then lastly, for lips, I used the Glossier Ultra Lip in Lucite. It's described as cashmere on the lips and I 1000% agree. It really is just like the perfect formula. Then I put on my everyday jewelry, my earrings, rings, necklace, and then Glossier U perfume. Okay, we're getting ready to leave now. So I packed my work bag and inside I'm taking my phone, my card holder. So just a small one that has only what I need, like my Metro card for the subway. My lip gloss I'm wearing today and my keys. Then of course, some hand sanitizer and a face mask. Then my work laptop, some headphones, a charging cord, my mouse, then a couple other things I pack just in case I need them are reusable utensils and then a reusable straw and a little cleaner for the straw because you never know, Tic Tacs and a mini hairbrush. And that's it. Here's what everything looks like. I really love this bag because it has so many different compartments. It's perfect for work and perfect for traveling. I got it from Quiana. And then I remember to put in my water bottle in the little section for it. Okay, and then lastly for my work bag, I packed a separate bag for my workout clothes because I'm going to take a workout class after work. Lastly, before I left, I took out my trash because adult things. I live five flights up, so it's better to take it out when I'm already going down the stairs. 
and then I said goodbye to my apartment for the day. Now I had to eat breakfast, so I stopped and got a smoothie on my way to the subway. I chose the kale smoothie just to be healthy and get a good start to the day. And now let's get on the subway and head into the office. Walked out of the office for a second. I'm going to grab lunch. So the cool thing about New York, I feel like, is that when you need to grab lunch, you can literally just walk to wherever you want to go and grab lunch. You can eat in the office, eat wherever. And my favorite place to go is Sweet Green, so that's where I'm going to go. But there are so many other cool options and like salads and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. demo room kind of it's like this little, little tiny room um, because I have a call in two minutes it's like a client call that I'm running um, but yeah so the day is going good I think it's great just being in the office um, I don't think I want to come back like every day full-time but I do think that um, it is nice just like sometimes if I like really need to focus and today I was like I really need to focus because um, things are getting busy, but yeah, um, I don't know, just a regular day I guess. I had, um, this is my first call of the day, it's 1pm, and then I have a call after this, 
and then I had another call after that but it got canceled so we'll be having that one but hopefully this one goes good it's mostly gonna be me um like talking and running the call so hopefully hopefully I do good wish me luck <laughs> much work that day despite what it looks like here it was super productive but alas it was the end of the day so it was time to go home I plan to take a workout class after work so I changed in the bathroom beforehand into my leggings and top for a pure bar class super sentimental and on my way to the subway I noticed that I passed by Grand Central Station so I had to go inside since I don't come get to come up here that often and the ceilings are just so beautiful they really don't make things like that nowadays so I stopped to admire it and also I thought about all the New York City commuters who pass here every day going to work Dreaming, time to get on the subway. bar class and I love this type of workout because I used to be a dancer and I love the smaller class sizes that you get at the more boutique studios like Pure Bar so yeah I love this class dinner when I got home that night but the fact is I was so exhausted from the day and too tired to cook so instead I bought a veggie burger and that was my dinner then I watched a movie and ate ice cream on my couch after that I had to put my adult pants on and wash my dishes I seriously dislike washing dishes but I had no other choice so I put some fun music on to get through it and wash my dishes.
Now, to be honest, before I went to bed, I did work on my YouTube stuff. I tried editing this entire video to go live the next day, and I ended up getting really, really tired. So I went to the bathroom to do my nighttime skincare routine before bed. So I brushed and flossed my teeth, of course, and I didn't show it here, but after that I used the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask on my lips. Then first thing I always do is remove my makeup with the Bioderma Micellar Water. And for a cleanser, I use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Then I have this three-piece set from Caudalie that's meant to brighten and reduce sunspots. There's this essence which I applied. The second step is the Vino Perfect Serum. I also applied this Caudalie Eye Cream as well. And then the third step of the pack is the moisturizer. And then again, before bed, I applied that DV serum to my hair for hair growth. that is it i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed coming to work with me today if you liked it definitely make sure to subscribe and check out the fashion squirrel over on instagram and hopefully i will see you guys next time okay 